Hi YouTube, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to give you a, a quick thought on the recent Rebrickables mock that I built. As you can see here, it creates a tie interceptor build from a standard uh, Kit 75300 standard Imperial TIE Fighter. Uh, it's by a user on Rebrickable known as PIOTRUSB. I'm going to try not to badger that up too bad, so I'm just going to show you that. And I will provide a link to his... Uh, to his build in the comments. It uses 416 of the 432 pieces that are in this actual kit, so there is a minimal amount of leftover parts when it's all said and done. And I have to say, I am extremely impressed with the build on this. The build quality is awesome. It really captures the look and feel of the TIE Interceptor without having to go off and create a whole new kit to do it. Um, as you can see, the standard cockpit center line is exactly what you would build for the standard TIE Interceptor. So that's going to be a very easy build for you. But it just blows my mind how much surface area you gain by taking that standard TIE Fighter panel and converting it to the Interceptor. It really looks like you've added a whole bunch of new pieces when in actuality you haven't. You've just simply used those exact same pieces. So very, very impressive. The only thing I did add to this is the uh, cannons at the end of each wing are actually a small Technic pin. So what I did is I went ahead and, and just simply added on another small gray Technic connecting piece right there to give it a little bit more of a standoff. But again, you could display it with those standard pins and not have any any problems at all. Everybody would know exactly what you have built. And as you can see here, he's done a phenomenal job. All of these panels are hinged, so you do have the ability to adjust the angle on them as necessary. Uh, there's not a wasted part on here that I can see. He did a tremendous job putting this together. Uh, the, you can see the rear of the tie. Again, since it does use that standard... Uh, TIE fighter cockpit is is perfectly you know standard I hate to keep using that word but that's exactly what it is where he really earns my respect is just the sheer amount of time and effort he put into creating these interceptor wings and as you can see the hinge pieces in there that allow you to uh, adjust the angle one thing I will say is I highly recommend you do not try to display this without some form of 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 stand as you can see here due to the fact that those are flexible at the hinge points it's very hard and maybe it's just me and my clumsiness to get it to stand on its own you know flat on a table so i had to build this small stand even to display it here correctly so i recommend taking five or ten pieces and just building something very simple if you plan on putting this in a display case but again overall you know having the ability to build a tie interceptor using the 36 dollar standard tie fighter and know that it's going to be to scale there are some of you that probably have the older tie fighter kits like the 75211 from uh uh, the Solo, A Star Wars Story. That's probably the one that everybody arguably says is one of the best scales uh, with the 75300 that has the smaller panels that a lot of people don't like. Uh, I had no issue with it, but since it's the only one currently out for sale on the uh, open market, well, unless you want to go and spend a premium, you're kind of limited in your choices. So again, though, this obviously brings it right to scale with that, so you could start a little tie tie collection my next one is to actually build the uh, tie d model the droid model uh and try to keep it in the same scale just for that reason because i doubt very seriously unless i happen to come across one on the secondary market that i'll get anything other than more of these 75 300 scales so again just keeping things in sync but overall you can't go wrong this takes about the same amount of time as it does to build the standard tie fighter about an hour uh, you know, no stickers to put on it. It's a very clean build. And again, I have nothing but positive things to say. Great job to uh, P.O. Trustby. I apologize if I've badgered and completely butchered your name. But again, I would highly recommend. He has several other uh, custom builds on Rebrickable on his page when you go there. I am definitely going to be checking those out and trying to build those as well. So again, if you have any questions or you'd like to see any better angles or have any questions about the build or how we did things, please feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to answer questions and I look forward to uh, the next video. Take care and have a great day.